25 years ago, the wood sprouted roots in the hearts of audiences worldwide. This coming-of-age tale, set amidst the vibrant tapestry of 1980s Inglewood, California, captured the essence of youth, friendship, and the complexities of growing up black in America. Directed by Rick Famuyiwa and featuring a stellar ensemble cast, including Omar Epps, Tay Diggs, and Sana Lathan, the film resonated deeply, becoming a timeless classic. Let's revisit the lives of these talented actors, tracing their journeys from the iconic characters in the wood to their accomplishments today. Number 1. Sidney Poitier as Mark Thackeray Mark's one of those teachers you either love or love to hate. He's super calm and collected, but don't let that fool you. He can lay down the law when he needs to. He's always saying stuff like, fight for what you believe in, but make sure you're right. He's got this class full of troublemakers who think they're the coolest. Sunglasses inside? Starting fires with sanitary towels? You name it, they've done it. But Mark's not giving up on them. He's trying to turn these kids around, one tough love lecture at a time. The man who broke barriers on screen and off, Sidney Poitier redefined what it meant to be a leading man. With his calm and confident style, he became a huge deal in the 1950s and 1960s. Not only was he a great actor, but he also used his fame to fight for civil rights. While other black actors had made their mark before and after him, Poitier was truly special. His strong presence on screen made him a force for change. It's crazy to think that his very first movie helped free his home country, the Bahamas, from British rule. And he didn't stop there. He became the first black actor to win an Oscar for Best Actor, thanks to his role in Lilies of the Field. Plus, in 1967, he was the top-grossing movie star with three huge hits. In the Heat of the Night, To Sir With Love, and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Sidney Poitier's influence transcended race, making him an unparalleled role model. As his acting career gracefully wound down, his global stature allowed him to transition seamlessly into diplomacy, serving as a representative for his native Bahamas at the United Nations. A true national treasure, Poitier became a living symbol of the enduring struggle for equality, a battle as old as the nation itself. Mark Thackeray was played by Sidney Poitier when he was 53 years. Sadly, on January 6, 2022, Poitier died at his home in Beverly Hills, California, at the age of 94. According to a copy of his death certificate, the cause of death was cardiopulmonary failure with Alzheimer's disease and prostate cancer listed as underlying causes number two. Judy Geeson as Pamela Dare. Pamela's got one foot in two different worlds. She grew up on the rough side of town, but now she's in a fancy school. She's really good at picking up on the unspoken rules and how different people behave. It's clear she knows that school can change your whole life. Pamela's a natural talker. She can break down even the toughest stuff into easy-to-understand bits. Her classmates and even her teacher, Mr. Thackeray, are amazed at how well she can put her thoughts into words. Pamela's confident exterior belies her deep empathy. Her interactions with classmates and Mr. Thackeray reveal a compassionate soul. Eternally youthful, Judy Geeson's career began on stage at the tender age of nine, transitioning to British television just three years later. Her breakout role came as the complex and endearing Pamela Dare in To Sir With Love. This portrayal of a thoughtful, awakening teenager opposite Sidney Poitier catapulted her to stardom. Subsequent roles saw Geeson take on provocative characters in films such as Prudence and the Pill, Brannigan, and the suspenseful Dominique. Geeson seemed to have a penchant for playing pregnant characters. In Prudence and the Pill, she portrayed David Niven's sexually liberated niece, who unexpectedly finds herself expecting. Her role took a darker turn in Horror Planet, where her character is horrifically impregnated by a monstrous entity. After a prolific period in film and television, Geeson shifted her focus to the stage throughout the 1980s. A brief return to the silver screen in 1991 with Young Goodman Brown 
was met with disappointment as the film faced a nearly six-year delay before its release. Pamela Dare was played by Judy Geeson when she was 29 years old and now she is 75 years old. Number three, Christian Roberts as Denim. Denim was a total pain in the neck at first. He was rude, disrespectful, and quick to anger. You know, the kind of kid who makes teachers pull their hair out. But Mr. Braithwaite was like, nope, not giving up on you, and stuck with him. And guess what? It totally worked. Denim turned into a completely different person. He's polite, responsible, and even started acting like a grown-up. Can you believe he was running the student council and calling girls miss? That's a total 180 from the troublemaker he used to be. Christian Roberts, a Southmore native, ignited the stage in 1944. Educated at Cranley School and the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, his talent was undeniable. His cinematic debut alongside Sidney Poitier in the 1967 classic To Sir With Love was a meteoric rise. Acclaim and awards followed, yet Roberts remained grounded. He effortlessly transitioned between the grandeur of the Redgrave Theater and the intimacy of York's Theater Royal. Taking an unexpected turn, Roberts traded the spotlight for dairy farming in 1980, even helming the Theater Royal Windsor. But the allure of the stage was irresistible. Resuming his acting career in 1988, he didn't merely return, he conquered, producing his own West End plays and clinching a prestigious Laurence Olivier Award. In 1995, the allure of the Caribbean proved irresistible to Roberts. Exchanging the bustling stage for Barbados's sandy shores, he established the renowned Lone Star Restaurant and Hotel. Yet, his artistic spirit remained undiminished. Beyond the idyllic setting, Roberts continued to hone his craft, producing films and contributing to award-winning Caribbean cinema. A true Renaissance man, his impact extends far beyond the stage, solidifying his status as a multifaceted industry force. Denham was played by Christian Roberts when he was 23 years old. Sadly, Roberts died of cancer on the 26th of December, 2022, at the age of 78. Number four, Susie Kendall as Gillian Blanchard. Gillian's that kind of teacher who's always down for an adventure. She loves taking the kids on field trips and stuff. You can tell she really cares about them. She and Ricky become super close over time, like really good friends. And then, boom, they fall for each other. But things aren't easy. Back then, people weren't cool with couples who were different races. Jillian and Ricky had to deal with a lot of hate because of their relationship. It was tough, but they stuck together. A doe-eyed blonde bombshell, Susie Kendall, was the quintessential British beauty icon of the 1960s. Despite her immense popularity, fame was an unexpected detour rather than a desired destination. Modeling, initially a casual means to supplement her income, transformed her into a fashion sensation. The swinging 60s propelled her from catwalks to silver screens, a trajectory she embraced with a mix of surprise and grace. Love blossomed on set with the charismatic Dudley Moore, their on-screen chemistry mirroring their off-screen romance. Their union led to a dramatic shift in Kendall's career. Cast as a World War I femme fatale in Fräulein Doctor at Moore's suggestion, she ventured into uncharted territory. Critical reception was mixed, but her subsequent role in Dario Argento's The Bird with the Crystal Plumage solidified her status as a scream queen. Thrust into a terrifying world of murder and suspense, Kendall's transformation from glamorous icon to terrified victim was a bold career move. Beneath the glamorous facade, Susie yearned for domesticity. While Dudley's star soared, her maternal instincts grew stronger. The demands of their respective careers strained their relationship, leading to a divorce handled with mutual respect. Remarkably, their friendship endured, with Dudley even taking on the role of piano teacher for Susie's child from a later marriage. The 1970s found Susie increasingly typecast in horror films, a genre she grew weary of. 
Disillusioned with the industry, she prioritized family life, stepping away from the limelight. A brief public appearance in 2002 to honor her ex-husband showcased the enduring bond between the former couple, a testament to their amicable separation. Gillian Blanchard was played by Susie Kendall when she was 30 years old, and now she is 87 years old. Number 5. Jeffrey Bailden as Theo Weston Theo Weston's the kind of person who believes in good manners and proper behavior, a refreshing quality in today's world. But there's more to him than just politeness. He's an exceptional teacher who genuinely cares about his students' well-being and growth. Weston's quiet demeanor might not command immediate attention, but his kindness and wisdom leave a lasting impact on everyone he encounters. He's not one to seek the spotlight, but his influence is undeniable. With patience and understanding, he guides his students, helping them develop not just academically, but also as individuals. His character is a testament to the idea that sometimes the quiet ones make the biggest difference. Jeffrey Bailden was no ordinary thespian. Hailing from Leeds, his journey to stardom was unconventional. Unlike many of his contemporaries, he initially pursued architecture at Hull College, before his life was redirected by World War II. Enlisting in the Royal Air Force, Bailden served his country with distinction. Post-war, the allure of the stage proved irresistible. Training at the prestigious Old Vic Theater School, he honed his craft and made a triumphant entrance into London's theatrical scene. The 1950s saw him transition smoothly from stage to screen, with a steady stream of television appearances and supporting film roles. The 1960s marked a pivotal decade for Bailden, cast alongside cinematic icons in films like King Rat and Two Sir With Love, he showcased his versatility. However, it was his portrayal of the eccentric Q in the iconic Casino Royale that truly captured the public's imagination, solidifying his status as a beloved character actor. For over six decades, Baladin captivated audiences with his unique brand of talent, appearing in both films and TV shows. The 2000s marked a gradual shift as he slowly stepped back from the spotlight, with his final screen appearance being the poignant romantic drama Love, Loss in 2010. Throughout his career, Baladon embodied a diverse range of quirky characters and delivered memorable performances. His journey as a late-blooming actor is a testament to the power of pursuing your passions, regardless of age or background. Baladon's legacy serves as an inspiration to aspiring artists, reminding us that it's never too late to follow your dreams and make a lasting impact in the entertainment industry. Theo Weston's was played by Jeffrey Bailden when he was 43 years old. Sadly, Bailden died on the 10th of May, 2017, aged 93 from undisclosed causes. He was predeceased by his partner, actor Alan Rowe, who died in 2000. Number 6. Faith Brook as Grace Evans Grace Evans is another teacher at North Key Secondary. And let me tell you, those kids can be a real handful. They can be loud, disruptive, and sometimes downright disrespectful. But Grace is like a rock. She stays calm even when things go completely off the rails, which is a superpower as far as I'm concerned. It helps keep the class from turning into a total chaos zone. Faithbrook was a cinematic chameleon, effortlessly transitioning between genres and captivating audiences for decades. Her career, spanning from the golden age of Hollywood to the late 20th century, was a testament to her versatility. From swinging through the jungle as a vivacious adventurer in The Jungle Book to embodying the enigmatic suspect in Finger of Guilt, Brooke showcased a remarkable range. She plunged into the gritty underworld of crime in Across the Bridge, sharing the screen with the formidable Rod Steiger. Thrillers became her forte. Brooke's on-screen presence electrified the suspenseful narratives of Chase a Crooked Shadow and The 39 Steps, where she held her own alongside cinematic titans Richard Todd and Kenneth Moore. 
Even the harsh realities of war couldn't dim her star power, as evidenced by her role in the gritty The Heroes of Telemark with Kirk Douglas. Brooke's talent extended far beyond the confines of a single genre. She infused the comedic, the smashing bird I used to know, with her unique charm, and embarked on thrilling maritime adventures in the Sea Wolves, alongside the legendary Gregory Peck. The 1980s saw Brooke continue to impress. She shared the screen with Roger Moore in the high-octane Efox and engaged in a thrilling cat-and-mouse game with Donald Sutherland in the gripping spy thriller Eye of the Needle. Demonstrating her versatility once again, she brought Shakespeare's world to life in the television adaptation of Hamlet. Brooke's final cinematic appearance was a fitting end to her illustrious career. She graced the screen one last time in Vanessa Redgrave's adaptation of Mrs. Dalloway. Faith Brooks' legacy is a testament to an extraordinary talent. Her diverse filmography, filled with memorable performances, ensures her enduring place in the hearts of audiences. Grace Evans was played by Kathy Najimi when she was 45 years old. Sadly, she of natural cause died on 11th March 2012 in London, England, UK, number 7. Patricia Routledge as Clinty Clintridge. Clinty Clintridge is one of the teachers holding down the fort at North Key Secondary. It's no easy job, that school. But Clinty's all about shaping kids into something great. She's not afraid to lay down the law when she needs to. Those kids can be a handful, so she keeps things in order. But don't be fooled by her tough act. Deep down, Clinty really cares about her students and wants them to succeed. Teaching in that neighborhood is no picnic. A lot of her kids have it rough and they can be pretty tough to handle. But Clinty's got a steady hand. She's always looking out for them, even when it's not easy. Patricia Routledge was a versatile actress who effortlessly transitioned between the glamorous world of Hollywood and the intimate realm of television. Her film career, particularly during the 1960s, showcased her ability to tackle a wide range of roles. From the heartwarming charm of To Sir With Love alongside Sidney Poitier to the comedic brilliance of Thirty is a Dangerous Age, Cynthia with Dudley Moore, Routledge captivated audiences with her talent. Her filmography also includes dramatic intensity in Pretty Polly and the zany humor of The Bliss of Mrs. Blossom. While the silver screen showcased her star power, television became her second home. Routledge excelled in a variety of TV formats, from detective dramas like Hetty Wainthrop Investigates to the warmth of holiday specials. Her ability to effortlessly switch between genres kept her in high demand well into the late 1990s, solidifying her status as a beloved and respected actress. Clinty Clintridge was played by Patricia Routledge when she was 38 years old, and now she is 95 years old. Number eight. Christopher Chittell as Potter Potter's that kid who always does his own thing. He's not afraid to speak his mind, especially when he thinks something stupid, like calling the girls miss. He's like, we already know them, why bother? He doesn't sugarcoat anything. But Potter's not a total jerk. He's got a point, you know? He's just being honest. And deep down, he knows the girls deserve respect, even if he doesn't always show it. So yeah, he's a rebel but he's not a bad guy. Christopher's life took an unexpected turn at 15. Dreams of naval adventure were replaced by the bright lights of the stage when a talent scout discovered him. The National Theater became his new training ground, and a role in To Sir With Love solidified his promising career. However, a reckless driving incident abruptly halted his momentum, with a three-and-a-half-year driving ban marking the beginning of a 17-year hiatus from the road. Fate intervened during the filming of Zulu Dawn. On location, he met Caroline, an extra who would later become his wife. Together, they embarked on a new chapter, running a shop in Devon. The allure of the stage proved irresistible, though and Christopher's return to acting was marked by a pivotal role in Peter O'Toole's production of Macbeth. A pivotal role in Peter O'Toole's production of Macbeth 
propelled Christopher into the television spotlight. Initially cast for a brief six-week stint on Emmerdale, his undeniable talent and charisma extended his stay, turning into a long-term commitment. Now happily settled in Nottinghamshire with wife Caroline and their children Ben and Rebecca, Christopher's life has taken an unexpected yet fulfilling path. Far removed from the initial trajectory he envisioned, his journey is a testament to the unpredictable nature of fate and the rewards of embracing life's detours. Potter was played by Christopher Chittle when he was 29 years old, and now he is 76 years old. Number 9. Edward Burnham as Florian Mr. Florian is like the coolest teacher ever. He's always dressed to impress in his fancy suits. You'd think he'd be all stuck up, but he's actually really nice. He cares about his students and wants to help them be the best they can be. Even when things get crazy, Mr. Florian stays calm and collected. He's seen it all and knows how to handle any situation. It's like he's a superhero or something. Being a black teacher in a place where people aren't always nice must be tough, but he just keeps going. He's a total role model. Christopher Burnham's journey from aspiring sailor to seasoned actor was anything but straightforward. Discovered by a talent scout at 15, he traded the open sea for the dramatic stage. His breakout role in To Sir With Love promised a bright future, abruptly halted by a driving ban. A chance encounter with his future wife, Caroline, on the set of Zulu Dawn, led to a detour into retail ownership upon their return to England. Yet, the pull of the stage remained strong. A pivotal role in Peter O'Toole's production of Macbeth marked his triumphant return, ultimately leading to a long-standing presence on the beloved television series, Emmerdale. Christopher Burnham's impact extended far beyond his own acting career. Returning to his alma mater, the prestigious Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, RADA, he became a revered mentor. His illustrious students included the likes of Peter O'Toole, Cyan Phillips, Albert Finney, Anne Reed, and Alan Bates, a testament to his enduring influence on the world of acting. Florian was played by Edward Burnham when he was 51 years old. Sadly, Burnham died aged 98 on the 30th of June 2015 at his home in England. Number 10. Rita Webb as Mrs. Joseph, Mrs. Joseph's the one who keeps the student's counselship afloat. During report presentations, she's the one juggling tasks and wrangling the program into a smooth flow, all while chilling next to Mr. Florian on stage. No sweat, no fuss, just pure get-it-done energy. Sure, she teaches, but Mrs. Joseph brings more than just grades to the table. Whether it's a listening ear for a student having a rough time or a helping hand for a colleague swamped with paperwork, she's always got your back. With a steady gaze and a quiet strength, Mrs. Joseph commands respect without even trying. She's the epitome of cool and collected, yet she's fiercely protective of her students and colleagues. Hattie Jacques, a comedic powerhouse, hails from Vilsden, England, and her diminutive stature contrasted beautifully with her booming voice and fiery personality. This unique combination often led to her being cast as formidable matriarchs or brassy cockneys, roles that she embodied with gusto. Her partnership with Benny Hill on the iconic Thames television series cemented her status as a comedic legend in British television history. Jacques' talent extended beyond the small screen as she lent her distinctive voice to a Kedman audio recording alongside esteemed colleagues. In the 1960s, she found herself among comedic giants like Billy Cotton, Arthur Haynes, and Spike Milligan, further highlighting her versatility. Jacques' television repertoire included not only comedy but also dramatic roles in series like Dixon of Doc Green and even a foray into science fiction with Space 1999. Her film appearances further solidified her comedic prowess, with supporting roles in classics like To Sir, With Love, and Alfred Hitchcock's Frenzy. However, it was her unforgettable portrayal of the formidable matron in the Carry On film series that truly etched her name into cinematic history.
Mrs. Joseph was played by Rita Webb when she was 63 years old. Sadly, Webb died in 1981, age 77 from cancer. Her funeral was held at West London Crematorium and a memorial service took place at St. Paul's Church, Covent Garden. Number 11. Anne Bell as Mrs. Dare. Mrs. Dare is like Pamela's superhero. No matter what crazy stuff Pamela gets herself into, Mrs. Dare always has her back. She's like a mix of a best friend and a strict mom. She'll give Pamela a big hug when she's down, but she's not afraid to lay down the law when needed. Mrs. Dare is all about guiding Pamela, not bossing her around. Because of her, Pamela learns to deal with life's ups and downs like a champ. Anne Bell was a versatile actress who seamlessly transitioned between the big and small screens. Her career spanned decades, showcasing her ability to take on diverse roles. Early on, Bell appeared in iconic films like Fahrenheit 451 and To Sir With Love, demonstrating her range from sci-fi to drama. She continued to impress with roles in films such as The Statue and Crystal Gazing. Television became a significant platform for Bell. She excelled in dramas like Tenko and Spectre, while also showcasing her comedic chops in various projects. Her work in acclaimed series like Agatha Christie's Poirot solidified her status as a respected actress. The 1990s saw Bell continue to shine, with roles in films like When Saturday Comes and The Land Girls. Her dedication to television persisted, culminating in a memorable performance in the miniseries The Foresight Saga. Bell's career is a testament to her talent and versatility. Anne Bell's extensive filmography showcases her impressive range as an actor, captivating audiences on both the big and small screens throughout her long and successful career. Mrs. Dare was played by Anne Bell when he was 29 years old, and now he is 86 years old. Number 12. Marianne Stone, as Gert Gert, though not the main character, is a key player in the background of the show. Her quick appearances in Mark Thackeray's class add a touch of authenticity to the school environment, representing the diverse student body. Gert's observant nature and unique reactions tell a mini-story of their own, hinting at a rich inner life that we don't always get to see. Gert's presence serves as a reminder that every student has their own story and experiences, and her reactions often provide a unique perspective on the events unfolding in the classroom. While we may not know Gert's full backstory, her expressions and interactions speak volumes about her character and her role in the show. From smoky back rooms to bustling kitchens, Marianne Stone brought a touch of gritty realism to every role carving a niche as the quintessential British character actress. Marianne Stone was a comedic powerhouse who became a familiar face in British cinema and television. Born in London in 1922, her journey to stardom wasn't straightforward. After training as an actress, she worked various jobs before making her West End debut in 1945. Her distinctive voice, comedic timing, and ability to embody a wide range of working-class characters quickly made her a sought-after actress. Stone's film career took off post-World War II, and her partnership with actor and producer Peter Noble, whom she married in 1947, solidified her position in the industry. With roles spanning from sassy waitresses to formidable landladies, Stone became a beloved figure on screen. Her talent for capturing the essence of everyday characters made her a truly exceptional actress. While never a leading lady, she was a vital cog in the British film industry, appearing in hundreds of films. Her comedic timing was impeccable, and she was a natural fit for the body humor of the Carry On series. But she was more than just a comic relief. Her role in Stanley Kubrick's controversial Lolita showcased her dramatic range. Despite her prolific career, Stone remained humble and dedicated to her craft. Her contributions to British cinema are immeasurable, and her legacy lives on in the countless films she graced with her talent. Television viewers enjoyed seeing Stone's talents in shows like Eccentricities of a Nightingale and the miniseries A Man Called Intrepid. 
Sadly, her husband Peter passed away in 1997, and she followed in 2009 at the age of 87. A touching highlight of her career was her daughter, Kara Noble, acting alongside her in the film Funny Money, showcasing the lasting legacy of this beloved character actress. Gert was played by Marianne Stone when she was 45 years old. Sadly, Stone died of natural cause on 21st December 2009 at the age of 87. Number 13. Michael DeBars as Williams Williams is like the class clown, but in a good way. He keeps things from getting too boring in Mr. Thackeray's class. He's not the star of the show, but he's always there to remind everyone that being a teen is a crazy mix of wanting to rebel and trying to figure out life. Just like any other teen, Williams is trying to figure out who he is and what everyone thinks of him. The way he acts around Mr. Thackeray and his classmates shows how messed up it can be to be a teenager. Michael Desbars is a true Renaissance man, excelling in music, acting, and radio. This British-born, Los Angeles-based artist has captivated audiences worldwide with his diverse talents. As the charismatic host of Little Steven's Underground Garage, Debars reaches millions of listeners daily. His extensive acting resume boasts over 150 television appearances and more than 40 feature films, including iconic roles in To Sir With Love and Pink Cadillac. His portrayal of the enigmatic Nicholas Hellman on MacGyver is particularly memorable. With a successful music career spanning decades, Des Bars has sold millions of albums and continues to entertain audiences with his distinctive voice and songwriting prowess. Recently, Michael narrated a special one-night performance of Frank Zappa's 200 Motels with the L.A. Philharmonic. He also put out a live album called Hot and Sticky as a follow-up to his 2012 album Carnaby Street and appeared alongside Gene Simmons of Kiss in an episode of CSI Las Vegas. In 2015, he released his latest album, The Key to the Universe, on FOD Records, produced by Bob Rose. Williams was played by Michael Desbars when he was 19 years old, and now he is 76 years old. We hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane with the cast of To Sir With Love. Who was your favorite character? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more classic movie rewinds. See you next time.